All right, hello again. So in this video, I want to cover a little bit about conversions. Now, conversions is nothing more than changing one unit of measurement into another unit of measurement of equal proportion. And we see this typically a lot with recipes on food where it will say you have so many fluid ounces, but you only have a certain measurement at home, so you have to convert that maybe to a cup, etc. So typically that uh, we also see it in grocery stores where you might have two different products, but for whatever reason on one of the products, it will have one unit of measurement, let's say grams, and another one it might have, let's say pounds. So we would have to convert one unit of measurement to another. But in order to do this, we definitively, we need to know specifically the unit of measurement that's equal to the same proportion. What do I mean by that? I mean by that is, as an example, one foot is equal to 12 inches. Now, these are two units of measurements, but these values are equal to each other. I can transpose these across the equal sign. 12 inches is equal to one foot, or one foot is equal to 12 inches. The bigger question is, which unit of measurement do I actually need as an end result? So I first thing I need to do is I need to know what is the equal proportion of that unit of measurement. Now the rule of thumb is if you have a larger unit of measurement going to a smaller unit of measurement, then you're going to multiply. If you have a smaller unit of measurement going to a larger unit, unit of measurement you're going to divide and that's what we're going to use in our math what do I mean by that what I mean by that is that I only need one foot a larger unit for 12 inches a smaller unit so I would multiply if it was foot to inches now I'm going to need the smaller unit a whole bunch of it to a larger unit, so I would typically divide if I'm converting inches to foot. And we're gonna see that here. So let's say that I'm giving seven foot as my initial amount. And I need to convert it over to inches. Well, since it's going from a larger to smaller, I know I'm going to multiply. And I'm given a seven as my initial value. So it's going to be 7 times something. Well, it's going to be have to be 12 because 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. So that's going to be my problem. And if I do 7 times 12, that gives me 84. So my answer is going to be 84 inches. Now I could totally reverse this. I could be given 84 inches. And I know that I'm going to have to divide to go back. And that's going to give me 7 feet. Alright. So let's look at this. So if we're giving this amount, 7,920 feet, and I need to know how many miles is that equal to. Well, I know that 5,280 feet is equal to one mile. And I have a smaller unit to a larger unit. So I know it's going to have to be a division problem. So basically I'm looking at 7920 and it's going to be divided by 5,280. So if I was to take 7,920 and divide it by 5,280, it's going to be giving me 1.5 as my answer. So I know now that 7,920 is equal to 1.5 miles as my answer. Again, I could do the same thing in reverse. I could take 1.5 and times it, 5,280, and that would give me the 7,920. All right, let's look at pounds to tons. It's the same concept. So we're giving one unit of measurement in the value of 9,000 pounds. 
and I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So I'm going to have to divide it. So I'm going to take my 9,000 and divide it by 2,000 because 2,000 pounds is equal to one ton. And I'm trying to find out how many pounds to tons. Now, if I take 9,000 and divide it by 2,000, I'm giving the answer of 4.5. 9,000 divided by 2,000 is equal to 4.5. So that tells me that it's going to be 4.5 tons. So 9,000 pounds is equal to 4.5 tons, or 4.5 tons is equal to 9,000 pounds. I'm converting one unit of measurement to another of equal proportion, of equal on both sides. All right, so we can even do this in fraction type of situations. I might not know the exact amount of equal on both sides. Now, we're told 2,000 pounds is equal to one ton, and as I said before, it's reversed as well, or one ton to 2,000 pounds. But here I'm only giving a fraction of 4.5 tons. So how am I going to convert a ton to pound? I know ideally it's big to small, so it's going to be a multiplication, right? 4.5 times, well, I, I want to know what's it in a ton, so I know it's going to be 2,000 pounds. So it's going to be 4 over 5 times 2,000, but I don't like that fraction. I want to convert it to, if possible, a decimal to make it a little bit easier. I could go with the fraction over fraction, but let's not. So if I take 4 and I divided it by 5, that's going to give me an answer of 0.8 or 0 0.8. All right. Now I have this is equal to this. I can still take my times 2,000 pounds per one ton. Now I have a little bit easier way to multiply it to get my answer. So if I take that 0 0.8 times 2,000, that's going to give me an answer of 1,600. Okay? Still with me? So my answer is going to be 1,600 pounds. So four-fifths of a ton is equal to 1,600 pounds. I can do more of these if you are interested in that. Uh, just go ahead and comment below or any other additional or uh, subtraction problems or geometry, etc. As I'm going to build more and more of these.